Hello guys, welcome back to another episode from Glen and Maddow. If you're new to our channel, we're currently traveling New Zealand to broadcast it to you guys on the other side so you don't have to travel, we'll do the traveling for you. We are currently on a road trip from Christchurch to Lake Tekapo and our first stop here is Geraldine and I think the most popular place in Geraldine is Barkers. Back in the days, Barkers is a family and they were sheep farmers and then since 1969 they have running an orchard and turned beautiful fruits into amazing tasting delicious charms, relishes, anything really and they're still producing. The only place where they're producing is here in Geraldine's. I tried a charm before but of course now we're here on our way so I actually have to buy something. Maybe a strawberry jam or something I can find but I'm excited to check this out and see what's on the menu. Look at this, the entrance to the barracks and it seems really big so let's check it out. It's I'm a in, really big I'm place Paris. isn't it? Oh, look at this, they have probably here in the supermarket they just sell a small selection but here I think they have everything. Oh yeah, we're getting the good stuff. We're getting wholesale price I think. Well, we hope so. I want a, I want a strawberry jam. It's very commercialized around New Zealand no? Yes, yeah, it's, it's beautiful sauce, it's like a big selection of range of things don't they? Butter chicken. Butter chicken. I don't think we can make that now in the back of the car. Are you at the testing station again? Yeah. You love testing samples in places, don't you? What's that jam? Oh, wow. Oh, that's delicious. That's raspberry. What do you think about that one? Are you going to purchase that one or? It's delicious. It's absolutely delicious. What did you pick up? Raspberry. I want a strawberry, but this tastes absolutely amazing. I think these ones are only produced for the store here. So I haven't seen them in the supermarket yet. No, no? it says a uh, food store eatery. Oh, I did taste it. It's delicious. It's great the way they give you free samples so you can actually taste it before I you just buy it. I tasted it and I want to have this. That was a quick one because we uh, noticed that we have to get to Fairly now and wanted to go to the bake shop. The one that closing. recommended by you guys. Oh, so many people of you have recommended it, so we have to check it out before they close. I got my jam, Kling got his coffee fix. What do you think about it? It's too hot to drink it. <laughs> but yeah, we don't have much time to check out Geraldine. It's really like a small, small little town. It's and lovely, isn't it? I'm so glad that it's not raining anymore. We got caught up in a thunderstorm in, in Christchurch. Christchurch. There you go, there's the town of Geraldine. Not a lot going on, but there's a lot of cars like usual. I did a big bad parking job there, guys. Sorry about that. Parked pretty bad, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah, the weather has been really up and down in Christchurch. It was like first day really hot and then another day really raining, like today. Very misty and cloudy. It's but we're, we're escaping the we're rain. Gonna we're gonna make the most of it now, yeah. We're escaping the rain from Christchurch. It's and as be... you can see, it, there's no rain here anymore. There's a meteor shower tonight. Yeah. Hopefully, we can see over the lake. We have to get to Lake Tigabu to see that meteor shower. That's our objective today. Well, Enjoying this viewpoint till we can because we need to catch the. Oh my god, that's beautiful. But we need to catch the point shop so ah. we can't actually stop and enjoy the view, unfortunately. That's Very that's... upset. We're two minutes away from Furley. And we have 10 minutes before it closes, guys. 10 minutes before it closes. We're just hoping we get, I really hope we get uh, a pie. Any pie, really. We're entering the town now, there's Furley. So the bake shop is right in the center, I think, because there's not much to it. And I think that's the most famous part. In is parking outside, Mano? Yes, I think so. Oh, straight in the door, I just yeah? Go rushing straight in the door. Give me a seven pie, please! I don't think that's available anymore. Oh, that's, that's the one I'd love the most. I love salmon and Oh, things. look at this old building. That's cool. Red that's brick building. so nice. That's cool, yeah. What is, what, is, what is it? What is it? The, the old, old library. library. Okay, nice. left here, Glenn. So this is fairly a gas station here. Oh, that's nice. It's apparently here. There, it's over there. i seen it. Fairly bake house there to the right. Go over there. Right. Park in park front. Outside. Park in front. We will, Mado. Don't worry. We're here. Don't we're knock here. this person down. We're here. And I think the, the, I see the lights. They're still open. Yes, they're still open. Okay. Fairly bake house. Did we make it in time? Oh, they only have a few pies left up. Only have a few, Mado. Ah. Taking a salmon, nine dollars. 
Oh, you do? Happy days. And also the mince and cheese, if that's available. Thank you. Is the bacon and salmon the most famous for you here? Yeah, they have one in our pork belly. Most pork shops wouldn't sell bacon and salmon, yeah? Yeah, yeah. I just saw Nice, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, right guys, you made it. 10 minutes to spare. Happy days. Oh, and they even had like the famous bacon and salmon left. Guys. And they had pork belly as well. We should have, should have probably picked up the pork belly, but I next one, like next really one. I pork belly, but sure, it's yeah. a cheese that's your standard one. Yeah. Happy days, you got it anyway. So we are in Fairley, guys. Fairley, welcome to Fairley, yeah. I think it's another little cute town. Driving, driving with cars, but barely anybody on the street walking. The usual thing. You want to walk around and explore? You want to eat it. Eat at the table, no? They keep saying best poys in New Zealand are all at these bakeries. and There's so many bakeries you're recommending that you think have the best poys, but let's compare. So we have this poi. And we're going to compare it to um, the Venice Sheffield. and... Sheffield. Yeah, Sheffield. That was the Venice and whiskey. So we have the salmon and bacon today. Mm, gotcha. And we're going to compare it. I'm not sure what it's like because that is sitting there all day, I'd say. Because we got the last poise in stock. And what do you think? What's the taste like, Maddo? Is it beautiful? Is it good? It's good is yeah. it what mm. the people, the audience have have said that it's delicious or what? It's delicious. Yeah. Try it. What's that? Oh, just, it's not smoked salmon, no, no, no. It's no, not, it's not normal yeah. salmon. It looks like farm salmon, by the way. The the pastry is a bit thicker. Mm. Mm. Yeah. It's a bit thicker. Has to be because so much sauce. Then you really stand out with the yellow jacket there. I do, don't I? I mean, I'm a bit chilly, that's why. It's good. I love, I love anything with salmon inside. The typical boy here in New Zealand. Oh, Mince and cheese. You get it anywhere, really. But you can't get salmon and bacon anywhere. So many people have recommended this place. Mm, not, really, not bad at all. Yeah. It is very good, yeah? Yeah. But, not my favourite, but... No? The venison and whiskey is my favourite pie so far. In Sheffield, yeah. yeah. Mm. We really, we're really becoming a pie taster. Tasting the pies all around the country. T tasting all the famous pie, pies around the country. So we can say we've tasted the pie with your recommendations. Prove you wrong. This is the Grand Stone Grand Hotel of Fairley. We're just passing by. We're about to leave, guys. We are about, we are about to leave. We're going actually well, they have a military museum here in town, but I'm not a big fan of museums, I'm going to be honest. But uh, where are we going? We're going to the lake Take tap. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So it's 30 minutes away, guys. So we're going to leave town and go straight to the lake. See the beauty there. We're just driving past oh, wow. this really cool town. So old. What's yeah. going on? Three know. Creeks trading it's since 1879. That's so cool. I think they're trying to replicate here a small little town. It's so cool though. It's like a museum. There's a mini blacksmith, guys. And they have a lot of old cars sitting up here and an old little petrol station. And we have some store, a merchandise store as well. That's so cool. Look at this. That's the thing in New Zealand. People like to collect old things. It's so awesome. Look at this. Wow. A petrol station. It's a shop, like they sell these things. Oh, they do. Yeah. They sell all things. Yeah. It's like the collector's paradise over here. All the old cars and bikes. That's really nice, isn't it? It's so cool. Liverpool and London Globe Insurance Company. It's so cool. Wow. What an old <laughs> really cool, isn't it's like it? An old yeah, they always look like an old village. They should turn this place into an old village. Yeah. They should turn this place into an old village. And look at all the old things inside, guys. Oh my god. There's a Coke machine. Oh, Coca Cola stuff. That's the petrol petrol tanks. I'm glad I actually stopped. I was actually going to drive right past. Loving the cars, guys. Super sport. They are beautiful cars. They need a good paint job. It says, please do not touch them. We, we won't touch. And look at the fence made out of skis. Oh my god. <laughs> that is awesome. I think we should get back on the road, guys. I'm really glad I stopped. And I'm very impressed by this little collection. This collector's town here in the hills here in New Zealand. Look at this. All the sheepies, all the green lands, all the mountains. Look We're at Borkis Pass. It's a viewpoint in Point Mountain. Okay, sure. We're in the Mackenzie district. 
Nice flat terrains, lush with beautiful purple flowers. We have some nice ice, snowy peaks here in the background in the distance. I feel like it's getting a bit more chilly around here, but it is beautiful. Look, it's a nice picnic spot here in the middle of nowhere. We're very grateful to really experience your beautiful country. If you're from New Zealand, you should be grateful to be living in New Zealand because it's so amazing. Look at this lake in the mountains in the background. How amazing is that? We arrived in Lake Tekapu, guys. It's pretty awesome. We have to drive around and check this out. Oh, look at that. That's nice. Wow. Welcome how to the lake. Beautiful. They actually have some uh, self contained camping here, I think, facing no, the lake. I bottom. don't think so. It's just set on the sign there. It's just, it says no freedom camping in town. The batter, better. It's fish and chips, Glenn. No way, in a caravan. Yeah. Oh, look it's at that. fish and chips out of a, out of a camper van. Well, don't fall. I cut that on camera. Welcome to Lake Tekapu, guys. Everybody's enjoying having a picnic, having a fish and chip out of that caravan down there. I think we have to go down there for a walk. There's also a observatory for nighttime stairs. No observatory, like yeah. Yeah, so you can observe the beautiful clear skies at night. We have a meteor shower tonight, so hopefully we have a clear sky for that. And I see a lot of other people have decided to come up this way to see the stairs as well. What the hell is that? I think that's when the current is in. That must be the case. The fish and ship place behind us has a five star rate on Google. Wow. And the temptation is pretty high right now, but we can't keep eating out, guys. We need to eat from the back of the car and save money. Financially, we can't always eat, for, eat out, so. The temptation is big. What's your temptation feeling? How are you feeling about it? craving my super board yeah we bought some stuff in the supermarket so i think we're going to eat that later tomorrow. in the back of the car yeah open until 8 p.m make a pot pass boy tomorrow yeah, yeah. 10 15 minute nap is always great guys just to re-energize and refreshing the mind and the heads so you don't fall asleep on the wheel so i don't know what we're doing we're going to the observation uh, location now road closed can't go up there madam this is the observation location. After hours for an Astro Cafe opening hours seven days, seven to two. So how are you supposed to see the stairs? I don't understand if it's close at night time. I just road. want to go to that observatory. Some people just walk up there. But I mean, you can walk up there and see the stars at night. Yeah. Mount Cook is probably over there in the distance. Um, that lovely blue water. But it's Lake Alexandrina. Really, yeah? I think so. Lake Ac Alexandra. Alexandria. So. We found this absolute gem over here with yeah. these beautiful flowers blossoms. Yeah. Blossom. Hey, lupines, yeah, guys, they only blossom from really end of November till mid of December. So, so I two or three weeks only. Yeah, I can't believe we're that so lucky. So I think we're very lucky to so embrace guys, these lovely flowers. Oh, it's actually the Lake McGregor. No. McGregor, like Conor no. McGregor from Ireland. <laughs> the Lake, famous yeah, is, MMA fighter. I think this is Lake McGregor Viewpoint Lupine Field. That's what it's called. Nice. It it smell nice? So nice. Looking well. We have a few individuals camping over here in the, in the fields. I'm not sure if there's some freedom camping going on here. That could be a, that could be a possible spot. Claire. Yeah, well, we need to kind of get down low, maybe beside the trees. Yeah. Uh, from We need some wind protection because it's absolutely freezing around here. You can feel the cold breeze up here. Goes. Ooh, it's a bit chilly, especially when you're sitting in the car the whole day. We need to find a place to stay tonight before it gets too dark. Cook a bit of grub. I was just going down the track here where the individuals are camping in the grass down here so hopefully we can you can actually ask the individuals if they're going to stay here tonight you can only ask you open the window yeah, yes. oh geez the road's a bit bad isn't it it's pretty bad pretty bad you camping here tonight guys you camping here tonight are you, you staying here yeah, yeah. is it yeah. free is it yeah it's free yeah. yeah have you been here before Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Where did you find it? Sorry? Where did you find it? Where did you find this place? Uh, on, the, on the nap. Ah, oh, uh, camper mate. Oh, oh, it's there. Is this place in camper mate? Uh, uh, wiki campers. Wiki campers. Yeah. Oh. oh. We don't have that one. Good to know. Okay. <laughs> well, yeah, thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> wiki campers. Merci. Wiki campers, I should have talked French. Yeah, you should speak French, Madeline. Your French would be better than their English. <laughs> Easily. Hey 
Alright, all right, this is such a beautiful place for a media shower tonight, guys. Yeah. What a place. Wiki campers, write this down or download it now. Wiki, wiki. Wiki, no, like you wiki, like, I, wiki, like Wikipedia. I will forget this. Wiki campers. This is so awesome. Look at the view, the peaks in the back. Beautiful. People parked here before, madam. That looks like a good spot there in the bush. It's really uh, hidden in the in the wind here. But you can't see anything. So, bro, you found a camp spot. Got a nasty uh, key scrape along the the door here from the plant. From a thorn. From a thorn. Oh. Hopefully, you can rub that scrape out. That's nasty, isn't it? That's a lovely spot. The only thing is, like, there's quite a few people here, and we didn't want to be like on. Uh, higher level yeah we want a bit no wind protection here behind the and trees so that's the only downside we can't see the lake really but there's shelter from the bushes so we can proper cook there's and a media shower tonight but look there's a bit cloudy you can't see I still i think this is a great place to watch a media shower do you want to walk over here for a second and explore the, the view of the, the mountain let's go into the wilderness here <laughs> oh no there's torn trees there guys oh the worst man especially when you have no shorts yeah, uh, yeah, that's gonna be beautiful. Here's Lake McGregor, Alexandra. The flat terrains with the blue water and the mountain peak tops. Can't get over the view. It's nice. It's very nice. Take peace from around here. Found a spot for tonight. Just gonna cook up a bit of food. We don't know yet what we're gonna have. I, I think gonna, I can know it. I yeah, I pre-cooked in the place where we stayed with a lovely family. I pre-cooked a bit of quinoa, so you make some salad. Because I have a bit of a sore throat, I bought myself Gisbrin tomato soup. It's very beautiful. So see, the thing is, we actually got invited by our, one of our YouTube subscribers, and we stayed with his family for four nights. Absolute gem of a family, amazing hospitality, yeah. and we're really going to remember these guys, and hopefully, we actually catch up with them again. Yeah. They're amazing. They're such a gem. Yeah. Obviously, they don't want to be in the video, but it's okay. But we had a great experience overall. Yeah. We're gonna say good night. Top of the morning, guys. It's the next day. We had our breakfast and we cleaned ourselves up. We're fresh now. We're not recording as soon as we hop out of bed because we're too sleepy to record. Yeah. I think. So we did before. We did. It's 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 not pleasant. No. <laughs> it's an after. It's an hour after we woke up. We're heading back to Taupo. See if we can go to bathroom and charge our phones for a bit. We're so lucky today. The weather is beautiful. It was nice yesterday, but it's definitely better today. There's these lupines. Smell lovely. Oh, the sun is strong today. It's just walking this fields and approaching this beautiful view. Overlooking Lake Tikapu. And this is where we stay tonight. We were actually a bit more sheltered. This is gonna be the second attempt going up to the observatory. Let's see if it's open. Oh. Why is it closed? Sure. Road closed. How do you even get there then? It says Astro Cafe open seven days a week. Because apparently a Thursday, Wednesday, Thursday, no. the observatory is closed. I'm actually to... looking forward to it. Yeah. I'm just sad now. Yeah, yeah, ah. that's not good. Should find another cafe. Yeah. Guys, I can't get enough of these beautiful views. Now you can actually see the mountain peaks here in the background. Absolutely beautiful. And the smell of them lupines is just insane. What is in Lake Tekapu? village so this is the surrounding areas we have the mountain peaks surrounding the the town and then we have a four square supermarket and hopefully they don't inflate the prices because we're in the mountains because it's a bit far away from the major cities so you would expect it to be slightly more expensive up here i think you have an observation telescope there it looks like anyway so it's a beautiful place isn't it the water's blue the sun is shining and we're going to pick up a bit of shopping it's time to pick up a bit of shopping yeah we need to get the porridge guys because we probably won't have access to a supermarket for two days so we need to make, pick up the necessary goods let's go explore the supermarket madam oh, sorry. it's a dollar more than pack and save guys are you looking at the wines no i'm just <laughs> christmas songs in the background madam oh god there's the dark square project behind us. I think you have to pay in though, it costs a bit of money. Probably 20 20 dollars or so. I'm really guessing someone told us that before, so where are we going? The cafe? Over here? 
where is it? Cafe, he picks a coffee up, do a bit of video editing. I think this is the commercial place, isn't it? Of the town. Oh, they have real estate as well. That's so cool. How much are you talking? 1.3 million for that. Oh my god, the houses are expensive around here. They're not cheap whatsoever. 1.7 million. Oh my god. Robbery for houses, real estate here in, in New Zealand, guys. Absolute robbery. There's a coffee shop we're going to check out now. The greedy cow. Why do I smell bacon? That's. Bacon. That's not good because guys it's uh, lunchtime. We just did some Glenn did some video editing. I did Look some at the, research. The view on the blue water. Have to do something on this beautiful day. It's uh, very touristy today oh, in the is. summer. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but it is beautiful. It's worth to come here to Lake Tekavo, guys, and I think we have to go and check out the Hoko Valley and the Mount Cook today. So yeah, yeah that's our new objective. And I think we're leaving this beautiful place, Lake Tekapo, behind me. We can come here again on our way back. But yeah, I think. Finalize this video, and we're gonna catch we're on the next one. Finalizing the video. Where we go and deep into the wild yeah. on a big walk. And I hope you stay tuned for the next one. If you like this video, give it a like, subscribe, and comment down below. And we hope to catch you in the next video. Bye. Bye. Probably the best view you can ask for while enjoying lunchtime, isn't it?